Hi, DIYers. This is Frank at Alarm Grid here. We're working at, on the Encore Firefighter FF345 today. We're going to review this object. It's a little device. It's an audio detector that will integrate your existing 110-volt interconnected smoke detectors. Those are high-voltage smokes. Generally, uh, your building inspector or uh, fire marshal would require by code uh, to have interconnected smokes throughout your home. Uh, those smokes generally are high voltage on 110 volts and would have their own discrete circuit uh, that goes directly to your electrical subpanel. So traditionally, when integrating uh, smoke detection on your uh, Honeywell system or any other alarm system for that matter, uh, you generally would get a, sp a specific proprietary smoke detector, whether it be wired, low voltage wiring, uh, or a wireless smoke and set that up and pair it with your alarm system. Now, we still generally recommend doing that, especially having at least one per floor, but the firefighter is a way that you can integrate all of your existing smoke detectors with your system and offer fire monitoring for that. Now, there are specific applications, including commercial fire, um, and in some areas, you know, with certain businesses that have, or even residential areas uh, that have, you know, special fire code where they need specific types of smoke detectors. Obviously, you always want to check with your fire marshal on that or your lo local fire department. But this is simply a way to tie your interconnected smokes to your panel. Uh, today, we're going to work on the L7000 Lynx Touch, but this, this uh, module is compatible with any two gig panel, including the Go Control 2 and the new GC3 that just was released, uh, as well as all the Lynx panels and really any, well, any Honeywell system. It's seen as a 5800 series device uh, and we'll show you how to program it on the panel uh, in a future video. But for now, I just wanna kinda of discuss the unit and we're gonna pull it out of the box and look at it. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is put in the battery so, so there's a back plate with some screws in it, and that back plate is what you can screw into, uh, into your wall. And then there's two little keyholes that would sit into the back of, of the module that sit in there, so you could screw it up to the ceiling. Uh, generally, you want to have this within three to six inches of just one of your smokes, okay? Now, it doesn't matter which one, especially if they're interconnected. If they are not interconnected, meaning that if one goes off, they all don't go off, then uh, you would want it, you would, the only smoke detector that this will monitor is that smoke detector within three to six inches. Uh, the way you test whether or not your smokes are interconnected, go over to it, press the test button on one of them. If they all do not ring out, they are not interconnected. If they do ring out, then they are. So this is going to be a great way uh, to integrate those. Uh, now you already have those throughout your home, so why not use them? This is usually a device that we recommend uh, setting up along with another smoke, another RF smoke or, or wired smoke, depending on which system you have. If you have the Honeywell Lynx panels, the 5808W3 is a great smoke detector. Uh, it's also compatible with the two gig go control panels as well. Uh, so basically what we want to do is pop this open and take a screwdriver here and just depress this little button here and we're going to open up the module and there's a little plastic sheath on this too that we can we can pull off and we just take the uh, let's see here we have the, the positive Hello, facing the away from the spring as normal and you'll see there's a flashing red LED and then a green LED that comes on. We now can snap the cover onto the FF345 and this unit is live. So now what we can do is program it to the panel. Um, but again, just to finish up on the install side of things, this is going to wall mount to a ceiling uh, within three to six inches of your smoke and is simply going to listen. There's a microphone built into it and it's going to listen to the specific uh, frequencies that the smoke detectors give off. Now, all smoke detectors have to give off a specific frequency based on fire code, um, and you know, that's why this will work with just about any smoke detector. 
With that said, this is not a life safety device. This is not a device that is designed to protect your life in the home. Uh, this is simply a device that will allow fire monitoring um, on your existing smokes. It will give you a way uh, to be notified through the siren on the panel locally, as well as text and email alerts through Total Connect. If you have Honeywell panels, Alarm.com, if you have two gig panels, uh, as well as um, central station monitoring where we can send the fire department out. Uh, it is not, again, it is not a device intended to save anyone's life. Those are uh, the interconnected high voltage smoke detectors. And you should make sure that the nine volt battery backups in those are always, you know, uh, put, put in new batteries every year, basically, or every six months even. Um, and you'll get a low battery beep on them when you do, just replace them with a nine volt. So uh, the next thing we're going to do here is hop into programming on the L7000 panel, and uh, we will show you how to program this unit. So if you have any general questions about the Encore FF345, the f known as the firefighter, uh, please reach out to us at support at alarmgrid.com with any questions via email. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.